Hi dancers! So today we're going to be doing a video on how to sew your stretch ribbons. So there is a normal way to sew your ribbons and I'm sure all of you know that way which is when you crisscross your ribbons and then you knot them and then you insert them. But I just found out that with your stretch ribbons you can actually just do a loop instead of sewing two opposite or separate ribbons. You just sew one ribbon and you loop them through and you wouldn't have to knot them. Now, I'm not sure if this is a hundred percent good idea or not because I haven't tested it out and I have never tried this so this is my first time but I got some tips from my friend Abby and I want to see if I can sew them on my new Grishkos. So I'm using my Grishko 2007s to sew on it. Today we'll just be focusing around the topic of your stretch ribbons. So just get your sewing things ready as usual. Okay, so you're going to be needing of course first your stretch ribbon which we are going to sell of course on our Dance by Lina page next week starting next week together with the invisible elastic so we'll be selling these alongside in a set together with a stretch ribbon so wait for that online and um, of course your point shoes so you need your new pair or your old pair whichever you'd like to use needle and thread and I would recommend you get a tape measure so we know how much ribbon you're going to use. Now, if you don't have a tape measure, maybe you can just use the ribbon to estimate how much ribbon you need to use. Um, my concern about this type of sewing is that the ribbon might turn out too loose or too tight. So it depends on you if you want the ribbons a little loose, then you just have to tuck them in just like regular knotted ribbons, which I'm afraid that might come off while you're dancing. So I want them tight since I really like my ribbons quite tight. Let's say um, this is the shoe that I'm gonna wear. So let's look into. So let's say I wore my Grishkos and I'm going to get the tape measure. So let's say sew it from here. And I start to loop. Since it needs two loops, I'm going to go two loops around. Of course, leave allowance for the part that you're going to sew, which is quite common sense. And then there. So I need about 23 inches. Um, I'm going to say 23 and a half, just to be sure. And then we'll just go and cut the same amount of ribbon that we need. So let's cut some ribbon. Stretch ribbon. The good thing about the stretch ribbon is that it's stretchy. And now we only need one instead of cutting two. So the normal two you cut means you don't need and then we'd sew them on either side of the shoe. So now I'm going to get my needle and thread and we'll start sewing. And then make sure when you do the second um, loop not to get it tangled. I mean, um, just make sure you do it the right side up, otherwise it's going to loop the wrong way. So make sure you're sewing it correctly, that part. So here's how it should look like. There, so these are my looped ribbons. I think they are too short. I'm not so sure. So this is apparently how you wear it. Um, I was told <laughs> you do a second loop in and you put it on the end of the shoe. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> this is hard. Oh, there. So, since they're stretch ribbons, oh god, this isn't working. <laughs> oh, there, there, there. It's fine. <laughs> this is harder than I expected. Wait, it's not gonna come through the heel. I think these are too short. Oh no no no. This should be fine. Oh gosh. 
don't think these are gonna get through. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck in the heel. Wait, we're gonna have to find another way to wear this. How do these dancers do this? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I've got on. Maybe. Wait, I have an idea. I think you can do what you can do is loop them already here. Like you loop them twice here. And then you wear it this way <laughs> instead of wearing it the other way around. There. So now it's gonna come through or should come through my heel weight. <laughs> I think this is too short. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There. Yeah, these are too short, definitely. I'm going to have to re sew this. <laughs> but. I think you get the idea. There, there, there. It's coming through. All right. <laughs> so now I can put on the heel. Whew, that was a struggle. All right. <laughs> so, so there. Now, this is my no loop <laughs> loop ribbons. It doesn't look as nice as I thought. This actually makes me quite sad. But maybe if you're the type who likes looser ribbons, it is okay. But I'm not so sure about it. Just wanted to give it a try. It definitely is not as clean as I would have expected. <laughs> and um, let's see. There. I'm more concerned of how to remove this now that I've worn it. <laughs> because I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. Okay. So we're going to try to get this off. I I think what you should do is sew it closer to the to the heel area. Okay, let's see how it goes on my other shoe. So if you like this video, click the like and the subscribe button. By the way, we're selling our stretch ribbons. They are good, they just don't work on loop. <laughs> and um, the invisible garter together next week for I think it's about um, $10 for the whole set that already includes your garter and your ribbons. Okay, so this is the earlier shoe that you saw me sewing. Now I realized that I sewed um, in front of the first wing, so I should have done it towards after the seam here. And normally I sew it in front because I like it like that. But then I guess if it's a loop ribbon, you can't sew it so far in or it's not going to get to your heel. So I did it on the second one. So it worked on the second one. It actually looks very, very clean. Or it looks a lot cleaner. My only problem is I cannot remove the shoe off of my foot. And it has been stuck here for a good how many minutes. But it definitely looks a lot cleaner. Because you don't have to knot the sides at all. And you wouldn't get that uh, bump. Or you wouldn't have your ribbons coming off in the middle of the show. Or you won't have to worry about things like that. So let me know what you think. If I were to rate this 1 out of 5, it would be a 2 <laughs> because I wouldn't want my foot to get stuck. So there and um, there. So I don't know if you'd want to try loop ribbons. I'm still figuring out how to get it off my other foot. I'm glad I got this off my other foot. But yeah. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section and we'll see you in our next videos. Bye guys!